I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? Far Cry 4 is the game I've been waiting for. Bigger, badder, and better than ever. It takes what Far Cry 3 does, what made it a good game, and makes it even greater. AJ Gale, a native of Kurat, returns to his homeland to scatter his mother's ashes and finds himself facing off against pagan men, a Chinese national, and a member of Hong Kong's criminal underground, who has declared himself the king of Kurat. Civil war and tyranny has ruined and plagued the land all over the Himalayas, as pagan influence spreads over and chaos ensues. Find and join the revolution and become part of the solution and save Karat one settlement at a time. Okay, so this is going to be a real short review, mostly based on gameplay, but the presentation has to be talked about. The world of Karat is around the same size as the Rook Islands in Far Cry 3, or maybe even bigger, but its vastness is only matched by its variety. From the grassy and autumn-colored base summits, to the mountainous regions of the Himalayas filled with snowbanks and high altitudes that require oxygen, brings a new realistic feel and view into the game. The game also features a new cast of characters, bordering from allies to strange spiritual and deranged characters. Pagan Min is one of the most prominent villains of all time. He is the embodiment of controlled chaos, as you see his network of generals and allies. Though it built upon the first person foundations of Far Cry 3, it keeps the best items like the wingsuit, and there's a lot more to the game than just new faces and new places. Far Cry 3 has a share of its collectibles to encourage exploration of the open world. Alright, for single player campaign and the overall gameplay, it's going to take you at least 30 plus hours to beat the whole game and find everything. Use tactical ways to approach enemy base camps like stealth or use full frontal assaults. Explosive actions can happen with grenades, Molotov cocktails, and C4 to cause chaos or to zone out your enemies that are incoming. Plenty of choices of guns to take and upgrade. New weapons like the sawed off shotgun Mamba and the heavy machine gun artillery. Go into battle arenas for crazy, intense standoff fights that are filled with a nice atmosphere of powdered paint that flies everywhere as you battle. Take over settlements for the revolution, and everyone that you take over, the next one's gonna be harder and waiting for your next action. Far Cry 4 has the same healing system and crafting system as Far Cry 3, which is really awesome. Hunting different animals will get you different items, depending on which will make you either hold more uh, potions or holster more more guns. Now we go over to the exploration gameplay. There's a massive terrain in this game with different ways to travel and explore with the ATVs, uh, hovercrafts, helicopters, all, all that. I'll explain that in a little bit. We have a new grappling system now to attain new heights and secret areas. Also, like XSX, you can use oxygen tanks to survive thin air when going up high mountains. Watch out for nature hazards like rock slides, rain, and avalanches that might come your way. Newer dangerous animals like tigers and elephants add more intense exploration scenes. And you have to look behind you and all around just in case an animal might attack you from behind and catch you off guard. Now there are more fun types of vehicles like gyrocopters for ambush attacks, hovercrafts that go on both land and sea traversing, and elephants that I talked about before, which is a really good thing because you can use them to rush into enemy camps and take them over and they take most of the damage for you and wig out on drugs and find out the secret of Shangri-La which is a secret location that exists outside reality which is really freaking cool and there are another other missions aside from stopping pagan men inside Shangri-La to return it to its original form all right, and time for some negatives. I'm gonna be real here, okay? Far Cry 4 is a really good game, but you get the sense of, I've played this game before. 
get the sense of deja vu gameplay. And it's gonna be there for a while until they change up the gameplay dramatically. It's the same game but a different territory. Let's just face that. Also, I wish they had a better cover mechanic system. Ducking behind a car, you know, without a peeking system or, you know, a better cover tactic system will not save you. They have a bare minimum cover system and that will get you killed most of the time. Using elephants to take, you know, damage like I said before is good, but they need to improve putting in some mechanic of leaning or sticking to cover or something because I'm getting eaten up in this game. Another thing is you see a lot of assets from Far Cry 3 which is really apparent in this game. It's kind of like they wanted to save financial head or overhead by, you know, just copying and pasting a lot of the guns, a lot of the weapons, and, you know, a lot of the assets from the last game into the next. So that was kind of lazy, but I see what they did there. And in the gaming business, sometimes you got to use some assets, but here it's, it's, it's abundant. It's here. <laughs> it's clear. Alright, so for the final verdict of Far Cry 4, I'm giving gameplay grade a A-. minus. Everything from the shooting, the mission statements, exploration, climbing, the environments, everything. It is a supreme experience, and that's what I liked about it. The only thing is, it just it feels like it's been done before for me, you know? And that deja vu feeling, and I wish gunplay would have better mechanics and aesthetics as well. Replay value is high. There's a lot to do in this game, especially when you play with your friends in co-op. Especially for those those lucky people who played on the PS4 can invite a lot of friends and you know give them the demo part of the game so they can experience it as well. And for the consumer report, if you're not really a fan of Far Cry, go ahead and buy that mid price. But if you are a fan, support and buy that full price. This is a big improvement over Far Cry 3. The better story, better missions, better uh, environment, everything about this game is an improvement. And you want to add this to your collection. Or if you're not a fan, just rent the game and try it out if you're a first time user. But over Overall, Far Cry 4 is a grand experience, and I'm glad to see this improve, unlike some games I know. <coughs> Assassin's Creed. Well, that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There, I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games. Where gameplay is everywhere.